Mother's Day. And I bet you're wondering where I'm at right now. I'm at my new job, working on Mother's Day. The first day ever in my entire life where I'm a mom and get to actually celebrate Mother's Day. And I'm here working. Well, even better than that, there's nobody in here. I am absolutely bored out of my mind. I have been, I've been here actually since like 8 o'clock this morning and it is about 1 o'clock right now. Well, at my new job I pretty much do all the cleaning on Friday, Saturday and Sundays. So I got here at 8 o'clock, clean the bar, then I open up the bar at 11 and I'm here till 6 o'clock. How fun it is in this bar? Let's show you. Let's show you how fun it is in my bar right now. Yeah, you gotta love this. It is completely dead in here. Wait, let's go outside and let me show you what outside looks like too. <gasps> Look at that. Totally, totally dead. Yeah, I clean this place every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, and I clean the entire bar, so I do outside where I just showed you, I clean all this behind here, I clean all of this here, and by cleaning, I mean, I actually, like, sweep, I mop, I wipe all the tables down, I wipe all the chairs and seats down and everything. Um, yeah, I pretty much do, I do all the like the dirty grungy grungy stuff too, like I clean the bathrooms and scrub out the toilets, wipe the toilets down, throw all the garbage out. And like the other day, um, when I clean, when I came in on Friday to clean, I want to know ladies, please, you shouldn't be able or shouldn't be getting this plastered. I should not be finding your dirty ass bras in the little like garbage cans that we have in the bathroom for your sanitary napkins and stuff like that. Really? That's nasty. I don't want your dirty stanky draws in my garbage can. Black. And really, how drunk are you also to be out that there's a toilet bowl right in front of you. Toilet. There. You sit on it, right? Well, if you lean into it and you gotta puke, throw up in the bowl, right? How do you miss the toilet and get it? And you lifted the seat. You obviously lifted the seat up because there wasn't on the seat. You got it underneath the seat. You threw up on the side of the uh, toilet bowl and on the side of the actual, like, underneath the seat cover and stuff. How does that happen? And how do you splash it up to the back of the seat? You like project down it, it wasn't on the back of the toilet it was on the side of the toilet and on the top of the back seat of the toilet and stuff or the under part of the seat how does that happen no you should, no no bad you shouldn't be that drunk no bad girls it's horrible dude i am so bored in here right now so any of you guys that are in Spokane and stuff and you want to come see me, come on down to Ugly Betty's. That's where I work now. <laughs> so come party, have a drink, and we make food here. I'm your cook. I have a whole kitchen. Like, we have a kitchen here that I have to cook on and everything. It's ridiculous. Like, I do, like I said, everything in here. So we have a grill, flat grill and everything. All this good jazz, where I prep all the food and everything, like, I do everything in here. And it's not just like bar bar food and stuff, I make like spicy chicken, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches, I make a Greek Philly, I make a chicken Greek salad, we do hummus platters, we do chicken fingers, like, I do everything in here. It's crazy. So, I mean, you want a cocktail? Come on down and get a cocktail. You want something to eat? I'll whip you up something nice. 
but oh my god, Mother's Day and I'm in here working and it's dead and I'm bored out of my mind. I even brought my laptop there so I can like mess around online. So I might just go on Blogs TV and be like, hi, I'm bored. <laughs> so let's see how this day is going to take me and see where I end up. If I'm still stuck here, if my boss will let me close early. I doubt it. Because the next bartender comes in at 6. And she got to be here. <laughs> this is just bad though. At least she might have somebody at night. I'm stuck here during the daytime. There's nobody going to be coming up in here. Who's going to bring their mother to a bar? If you did, I'd be upset with you. Like, why did you bring your mom up in this bar? What's wrong with you? Couldn't afford brunch? Mm -mm. Oh, but I'm also, my car is parked right outside. Here, let me show you. <laughs> oh, so you can see it. Yep, there it is. There it is. So I've been using the, <laughs> the clicker, right? That CR got. That put in my car because it's still in my car. So every time someone walks by my car or people drive by it, I've been pushing it to just see reactions. So this just might be my public part today. Let's see. Yay. What are you doing? I'm getting my groove on. So what's up, guys? I know it's been a few days, but we had to sit back and adjust and get back into reality. And you're looking at me, and you're probably wondering, CR, you look different. You look, what, what's going on here? What, what happened? You look younger. Like, what's going on? Well, if you guys didn't see the last prank there, Rana got me. She, 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 she took off a little bit of my beard, so I ended up uh, finishing the process for her and just took it all off myself. So. Uh, I love you, though. She's a um, witch with a capital B. I am not a witch with a capital B. I just got really sick of it. He wasn't conditioning it, and it was getting itchy, and I got sick of not being able to kiss my man. So I took matters into my own hands. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, we're grabbing grub. This little man is teething. And, and he's being pain fussy. in the butt. Fuzzy, 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 fuzzy. fuzzy. Like hours on site. See, like he's starting right now. Are you trying to get fuzzy? Eat your foot. Come on, eat your foot. Eat your foot. Eat your foot. Eat your foot. Eat your foot buddy. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Kaden, do you like playing with your monkey? I mean, uh, uh, wow, that that came out a little weird, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Word to your monkey, man. Yeah. Word to your monkey. Word to your monkey. <laughs> what? Yeah, so we are enjoying this nice warm day out here. And uh, yeah, reminiscent of Hawaii. It took a while for us to adjust to get back into reality here. But we did it. We're back. We're sad. It was all just a memory. And uh, yeah. Now it's time to save up money to go on our next trip. Where's our next trip? I don't know. So I'm super stoked right now. I don't know if you guys remember my earlier vlog, uh, I posted about New Era by You, where you can create your own baseball caps. And mine just came in the mail right now. And I'm excited to see how it turned out. Oh, this one comes all pre-packaged. This is sexy looking. Check this out. I am addicted to this site now. But it looks like they made it wrong. <laughs> oh, too funny. Oh, too funny, too funny. But you know what? I'm still gonna rock this damn thing. Ah, if I can just get it open. Yeah, they made it wrong. <laughs> it's actually the right thing, but uh, the color is wrong. They, they did the wrong color. So I'm gonna have to have them look into that, but... This is the hat that I had custom made, and uh, yeah, dude, pretty dope. I'm excited. I can't wait to rock it. Woo. All right, so today has been a yard work day. Mm. I've kind of got the backside here done a lot. Now, I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like before, but it is a work in progress. Slowly but surely, getting the stepping stones here placed in the ground. I got the grass planted, seedlings over there. Ugh. Mowed the lawn, shoveling, getting the dirt all out, about to lay some bark. Ugh. God, being a homeowner is rough, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I kind of enjoy this stuff. It's kind of fun to get you out here, get you out of the house, get some sunshine. Ah. But I'm tired and I just want it done. Ah. Somebody want to come over and help me? What's up? 
Yeah, that's kind of scary. It's mail time, guys, and you know what? We just got to give a shout out. I'm not going to read these, but I, I got I got to give a shout out to a couple people that we got letters from. We got one from Stephanie Irvin. Is that right? From Valley, Alabama. Yeah. I think that's what that is. And then we also got one from Mr. Terrell James. Awesome stuff. And you know what? I always love getting these mail, these mails, these, <laughs> these letters, because it's awesome, you know, it, it really is touching and everything, and we love it, and you know what, you guys are asking for some business cards, so you know what, to the two of you guys, we're going to send you some business cards, and a little, little autograph, or something, little something, 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 you know, and you know what, I got to say, Miss Stephanie Irvin, right here, well, hold on, this right here, you don't need to send this. Why are you sending us money? Don't send us money. I'm going to send this back to you with some business cards that you're asking for. But thank you very much. And uh, yeah, once again, we love getting your guys' letters. It really means a lot. And thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. We got the future DJ in the house. What's up? You look stunned by the camera, but what's up? Come on, spin them tables. <laughs> Yeah, DJ Caden in the house. What up, man? Yeah. Wrecking the one and twos? Yeah. I just want to show you all how Raina goes to bed. She's got the computer going with cartoons. She's got her iPhone right there where she's playing video games. And she's got her tablet right there where she's got other video games going. Talk about multitasking, but we're going to bed. <laughs> That's another night for Raina and another night for me. I get no love. Jeez. Damn technology taking over my relationship. There's nothing about no love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, until we meet again, word to your monkey.